Geht das? No, ich das nicht. <lacht> Kevin McNaughton and I in the bus on the way home started writing this song, but we'd actually had about two bottles of champagne each and we were on the red wine by that point. And on that muddy pitch and chase time, when we went one nil down. Peter Inkman, yeah, he settled in very well, he's a good guy, um, he's a very good goalkeeper as well, but fortunately his haircut leaves a bit to be desired. Uh, it looks like he's escaped from a Finnish monastery. The, the Grey Squirrel, uh, Grandpa we call him, Kev McNaughton, he's had a fantastic season. He's been our kind of most consistent player in my book. He's the funniest man at the club, his partner's dynamite. If, you, if you've watched Anchorman and Dumb and Dumber then you know Kev McNaughton. I said to Tony I was going to go easy on him but he phoned me about 4 o'clock in the morning the other morning when he was out and left me a message, so I'm going to dig him up. Pre-season we were doing sprint tests, and Tony's not the fastest player in our squad, but he seemed to be finishing before everybody else did. We soon worked out it was because his nose was crossing the line about a metre before everybody else was. Roger Johnston, what can I say? He, uh, he loves himself. If he was chocolate, he'd eat himself. He thinks he's the best at everything he does. It's just a shame he's got a 24-inch waist, uh, which comes in handy, because he wears his Mrs. Nichols to training quite often. Tell them tales and exaggerations. Glenn's a bit of a smoothie. Aye, he's a bit of a poser. He's my roommate uh, at the club, which is good because he's a perfect roommate. We don't really talk to each other. He sits and listens to his DVDs in Dutch. I watch TV. It's like having a room in your own. Well, he's the most laid back person on the planet. He's always winding our fitness coach up, actually, because the fitness coach is trying to get him to do things sharply and be on his toes, and he's like, you know, but he's technically, I'd say, he's the best footballer at the club. Nicknamed the Honey Monster, you know, from the Sugar Puffs advert. Uh, Gav's had a fantastic season, and uh, I'd love to be able to slag him for something, but you know, I can't. He's just a genuinely nice guy. He's a top man. Yeah, I'd give Stephen the best dress player at the club award if there was such a thing. He's always very well turned out. Um, it's just a shame he's got a wooden right leg. Joe's uh, obviously the, the hero of the moment, you know, getting the goal in the semi-final, which was fitting, you know, being a local Cardiff boy. He sounds a bit like Jonathan Ross at times. He pronounces his R's as W's, so he calls Paul Parry, Paul Parry. And uh, <laughs> when we were out one night, we were getting him to order drinks for us, so he was asking the barman for 10 amawetos. Are you dreaming about Wembley? Paul Pawey. Paul's had another great season, you know. He's been a can used as an emergency striker and he's done very well, contributing with quite a lot of goals. And uh, you know, it was such a shame that he missed the semi-final um, through injury, but he's he's going to get a second bite at the cherry and I'm sure he'll grasp that with both hands. Jimmy Floyd Cash in the Bank. It's been great to have Jimmy at the club, you know, it's given everybody a lift and especially the younger players in the squad. It's fantastic to work with people like that and you've got to take your hat off to him. I don't think he would have expected to play as many games this year. He's kind of managed to hang in there, although we are now using WD-40 on him. Me, Stephen Thompson, uh, and when I'm not recording records and being a rock star, Hey, I'm trying to be a footballer.